So this week we will go further into the different processes that we can apply depending on the negative feelings or emotions that we're feeling, the subconscious or conscious fears, blocks that we may be experiencing, how stuck we feel in different areas of life that we're trying to create and manifest, and how triggered we are emotionally, and what to do in those different scenarios depending on the level at which we feel and get affected. So the trigger can be very light to very intense and we need to learn how to navigate that situation so we can emotionally regulate, so we can respond, so we can figure out what's going on to aid ourselves, to soothe ourselves, to take care of ourselves in response to that trigger. And it can be the external environment triggering us, it can just be the accumulation of thoughts that trigger us, it can be hoping and praying for an outcome and not seeing it and that would trigger us. There's a whole variety of reasons as to why we get triggered. But the important thing is to know what to do when we get triggered and how to get ourselves into a different state or how to remove the blockages that are creating the trigger in the subconscious mind and body. So with each of these processes, uh, I am either creating or have already created guided meditations and identity upgrades that couple really well with these processes that guide you through it, that get you in the straight state of mind, the frequency, uh, and just helps you integrate this even further. So especially when we are triggered, we go back into the old self, the conditioned self. So having the identity upgrades and the meditations will allow you to be guided and remind you of how to think, how to feel, what to do in that time, uh, remembering to detach, remembering that you're creating it all, so let's feed the new story, the new identity versus the old story, the old identity. So it keeps centering you back, keeps reminding you. So they're all available in the membership for you. Uh, and more will be coming soon. If you're feeling positive, having positive emotions, assuming into existence what you desire, embodying your higher self, feeling all the good feelings, you are creating your reality in a positive way. And the more that we do that and the more consciously we do that, the more that we embody our higher selves and magnetize our desires to us. However, if we are feeling negative, feelings, negative emotions and go unconscious where we go back to life is happening to me and you go into those l negative loop cycles in relation to your desire, then that means you are triggered and we don't shame that. We again use that as a point of awareness to be like, okay, this is where I can evolve and transform. So. In that moment, you can determine how triggered you are by the charge. So if, it's, if you're very triggered, the charge will be very intense. You'll have a lot of negative emotions, you'll have a lot of negative thoughts, and you'll go back into the unconscious way of thinking, into your old conditioned self and that paradigm of thinking. But as soon as we realize, okay, negativity within self equals going unconscious, because we know that to create our reality of our dreams, we need to come from a place of positivity because we're seeing it as the higher self. We're seeing it from the eyes of love. We're seeing it from the eyes of abundance. We're seeing it from the eyes of infinity. We're seeing it from the eyes of God, your higher self. And if we're seeing it in a negative way, then we're choosing to see it from a lower level of consciousness, which we don't shame at all. We don't make it wrong at all, we just become aware. This is when I'm going unconscious. So let me choose in this moment to respond differently. So if the charge is small, we become aware of the negative thoughts, the negative assumptions, the negative stories that we're saying about ourselves, that we're saying about our desires, us in relation to our desires, our desires in relation to us, and we change the story, we flip the script. We say the positive opposing belief, thought, and we assume that to be true. And then, if the charge is a little bit more, number two is we may be experiencing something and then we realize, okay, I'm feeling 
something negative in my reality. In that awareness, detaching from the external reality uh, and being present in the knowing of what you truly want to feel. So if you're experiencing the lack of it, choosing to feel the abundance of it with whatever you desire, love, peace, happiness, joy, fulfillment, and try to feel that deeply. So you detach and then you feel. So you become aware because the external reality was reflecting something and you started to absorb it, absorb something negative. Then you detach and then you become aware and you become aware of that feeling and I don't feel so good. So I'm not being as conscious as I can be. So let me be conscious in this moment and let me choose to overlay this experience of what I want to see. Now, if you are just experiencing the most amazing reality and your desires are manifesting, then you go into the present moment of that desire and feel it even more. Expand it even more, get excited even more, be grateful even more from a place of acceptance, not from a place of I'm going to feel this so much and I'm going to celebrate this so much because I'm so scared that it's going to go away. So I'm going to feel this with acceptance that this is my reality and it's going to keep on expanding in that way. But if we're seeing something we don't want to see, we don't like to see, we don't want to experience the lack of our desires, then we detach and say, okay, that's my past self reflecting back to me, my old belief systems, my conditioned self, but not anymore. I choose to overlay and be present within self, detach from the external with what I truly want to see and feel. So you can do the first two processes anywhere. You can do it when you're even having a conversation with somebody. Right? When you practice it enough, you can. And you just start to become aware and switch and switch and switch. So the first two you're doing basically every day as you go about your day. You're choosing to become conscious and aware every day. So three is nervous system regulation practices, specifically focusing on EFT tapping. And that one you typically do every day if you need to a few times a day to about three times a week. And that is when you are triggered by the external environment and you are feeling more intense emotions, more intense feelings. You're going back into the old loop, the old story. And even as much as you try to overlay a different feeling, embody a different feeling, a higher frequency feeling, or switch to the positive opposing thought, you still can't. So in that scenario, when you can't, you start doing the EFT tapping and regulating your nervous system. And I'm going to dedicate a whole video to that because this has been so crucial for me and for my clients as well. When they get triggered and even though they can't believe a new thought, feel a new feeling and fully believe and allow that to be received and felt, they can still interject that negative feeling that negative thought with it makes so much sense to me now why people are getting the most amazing results and so fast in the membership where people are truly becoming the creators of their life and evolving their money their career their relationships and experiencing inner peace amazing sleep self-confidence connection to god and feeling really powerful and aligned in their life because in the membership, we are speaking to the analytical, logical mind through the workshops and masterminds. So people understand the concepts and they get given the exact steps on the how to. So they aren't confused and they have a clear understanding and direction, knowing exactly how to apply the knowledge, take action to see actual change in their life, whilst also evolving their subconscious mind, energetic body, self-confidence self-concept through the repetition and feeling with the identity upgrades and guided meditations so we are working with the mental the physical the energetic and the spiritual body so we are having a change completely within and then externally without i feel so fulfilled to experience so many people changing their lives and so rapidly as well, you guys surprised me. So I just want to say thank you so much. And I feel so excited and happy every time I get a success story. And I love going on this journey with you.